In this video, we're going to guide you on how to create your one QA basic account using your IDA6. Please visit oneqa.com slash register device. This will redirect you to the software licensing portal. Today, as new OneQA users, we will select Create an Account. Here is where you should enter your personal information, create your password, and input your IDA6 serial number and purchase date. First, enter your first and last name, email address, company name, and tenant name. The tenant name should be the name you want to use for your account within OneQA. Many customers prefer to use the name of their hospital or organization. Next, indicate your team size. This question is asking how many members are in your current team at your facility. Finally, set your password. There are password complexity requirements displayed on the screen. You can locate your serial number on your IDA6 device. Find the serial number and enter it into the system, along with your purchase date. An email will be sent to the address you provided during registration, so let's check our email. Now that we've accessed our email account, let's look for an email from 1QA at Fluke Biomedical. If it's not in your inbox, please check your spam folder. You should receive the activation email within 5 to 10 minutes after registering your account. When you receive the email, you will see a button that says, Click here to activate. Clicking this button will take us further into the account activation process. The first thing we'll encounter here is a prompt asking us to sign in. Log in with your email address and password, then click Sign In. Now, we have steps 2, 3, and 4. In step 2, you have the option to add your coworkers' email addresses. This will invite them to join the portal. You can add multiple email addresses if needed, but for now, we'll skip this step. There's a helpful 1QA video that explains what 1QA is, how to automate tasks, build checklists, and file reports. The video is approximately one minute long, so you can watch it as part of this process or choose to skip it. You can also participate in a quick survey by clicking Take a Quick Survey. This survey contains a few questions that Fluke would like to ask its current customers for feedback. Next, there's another video available if you'd like to watch it. The next step is to get started. To do this, you'll need to download and install OneQA. You may require admin privileges, and the system administrator can assist you with this. Download and install OneQA, and it will begin downloading the software for you. Navigate to your download folder and proceed to install the software. Then, select Continue. Your device is now registered and you have successfully created a OneQA account. You can launch OneQA through the downloaded software. Click OK. By clicking on the tenant name, you can access the tenant and view its contents. In this case, we have one license for OneQA at XYZ Hospital. If you ever need to re-download Fluke Biomedical for any reason, you can do so directly from the licensing portal. If you have multiple computers, Simply log in to the licensing portal and download Fluke One QA. If you need to add more devices, such as another IDA6 to your account, go to the Devices section and click on Add Device. Then, input the IDA6 serial number and today's purchase date and select Register. This action registers both IDA6 devices under your account. If you click Refresh, it will update your account to show two licenses because you now have two IDA6 devices registered. Lastly, if you need to invite members to your team after the initial onboarding process, select Invite Member. Enter their email address and specify their roles as technicians. Clicking the information icon will provide details about each technician's role. For more information on OneQA and IDA6, please refer to the other available videos.